of high stakes, where every decision is a gamble and every move can be your last. High and here's the man with all the action, Wink Martindale. Thank you. Hiya, Casey. How are you? Hello, Rick, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to High Rollers. Skill, strategy, sabotage, and these unpredictable dice, they are the elements we have for you as our players try to win prizes totaling almost $5,000 that are on our game board, and that's just our very first game with much more after that. Then whoever wins a two out of three game match goes on to play the big numbers back here for $10,000 in cash. And you did it on our last show, Tracy. It could happen to one of these lucky people. That certainly happened on uh, our last show to Tracy. She has won thus far $17,913. Tracy Sang from St. Louis, Missouri. Welcome back. Thanks. And Tracy is a full-time law student. You're also a fashion model, are you not? Um, yes, I do some runway modeling. Yeah. But mainly it's law now for you, right? Yeah, in fact, I, I kind of want to keep this modeling thing kind of quiet. I don't <laughs> okay. want to ruin my credibility well, you make or a beautiful anything. model. <laughs> I mean, we might want to keep it quiet, but you make a beautiful model. Thank you. Welcome to our show. Good luck in your law career and on High Rollers as we continue. Also, everybody, say hello to Rick Passo from Indianapolis, Indiana. And Rick did something very special in uh, his earlier years. He's not an old man, but <laughs> you were part of the, uh, what well, you tell us? Well, I spent two years as a Peace Corps volunteer a few years ago in the Philippines. And one thing I helped do was start a library in the town I was at. Well, I think that deserves an applause, and welcome to our show, Rick. Tracy, good luck to you both. Nice to see you both back again. Players, this match began on our last show. As you'll recall, Rick, you had won the first game, and we were just getting ready to start game two when we ran out of time. So let's take a look at the board as a reminder to the prizes you were playing for. In column one, the prizes were patio furniture worth over $800. In the middle column, a beautiful bedroom set worth $2,758. And in column three, a gorgeous tea service plus $1,000 in uh, coins, this prize worth fourteen hundred and ten dollars now here's the way the numbers line up in this game in column one the one the nine and the two the middle column the eight the three and the four and in column three five six and seven obviously the hot column is column one meaning one roll of the dice can knock all those off a roll of a twelve could do it you'd win the patio furniture worth over eight hundred dollars now as always i'll ask a question being first with the right answer gives you control of our dice so get ready to hammer your way into the game as we start game two Tracy, you need it because you need it to even things up at a game apiece. Here's your first question. It's said to be the most famous thing in the White House, nine feet long and made of solid rosewood. Is it Lincoln's bed? All right, Rick. Lincoln's bed? That's right, Lincoln's bed. You got it. Now then, Rick, to get a prize, you must complete a column. You do that by taking off those numbers. You can play any combination of the number you roll, but if no move is possible, you lose. Now, you have the choice of rolling them or passing them to your opponent. Obviously, with all the numbers good, you're going to roll them, so here we go. First okay. roll of the dice, okay. and what do we find? Come on, let's go for that 12. He looks like I a good and lucky roller. Him. He's won the first game already. She says tiny number, Whoa. and she got a tiny number for him. It's but it's a double, and of course, a two means this insurance marker for you. Thank you. Now, you always get an insurance marker when you throw a double. If you throw a number that can't be made later, each insurance marker will give you a free roll. So, there's only one way to take off a 2, and we take off the 2 in column 1, leaving a 9 and a 1, or a 10. Now, when you complete a column, un whatever prize is there will be yours, but only if you win the game, okay? Here's your next question, yes or no, just answer yes or no. According to statistics, the number of men having facelifts is almost the same as the number of women. Rick. No. You're right. The answer is no. It's 9 to 1 in favor of women, 9 to 1. Okay, Rick, pick up the dice once again. Again, all the numbers are good. There are no bad numbers. Pass okay. them, she says. Okay, Rick, here okay, we go. Okay, I think I'll try for that 10 now. A 10 would be nice okay, for the patio furniture. Okay, come on, let's go. And what does he find? Six. A six. How do you do it? Uh, I think I'll take the five and the one. Rick. All right, we get rid of the one in column one and the five in column three. Players, outer space or the Supreme Court. A woman named Sally Ride was America's first woman somewhere. Where? Once again, Rick. In outer space. That's right. Outer space, the correct answer. You're slow on the trigger over here, Tracy. Pick up the dice. Yes, you're a little slow there. All right, Rick, you get to roll them again. By the way, one bad number, one bad roll would be the roll of a five. But you do have an insurance market. Okay, I think I'll roll. All I right. think I'll try for that nine now. You'd like the nine. Okay, for let's the go for the nine. First column in the patio furniture. 
It's oh, a four. four. Only one way to do it. I think I'll check the four, Wink. Okay, the four in column two comes off, leading the eight and the three. According to an article in Vanity Fair magazine, is it topless starlets, Ronald and Nancy Reagan, or the camel from Ishtar that you can frequently find around Warren Beatty's swimming pool? Tracy. The camel from Ishtar. No. <laughs> it wouldn't make a heck of a picture, though, would it? No, topless starlets around Warren Beatty's swimming pool. That's what we had in mind. You wouldn't expect an attorney to know that. All right, Rick, you get to roll the dice again. Two bad rolls this time. Four and a five. You want to roll them or pass them? I think, I think I'll roll it again. Okay, he's going to roll. He's going to take the, the shot. He's still got his uh, insurance market. Okay. Just don't roll a four or five. Okay, I'll try not to. Okay, let's go. Okay, what comes up? A four. four. But it's four. a double. Bad roll. It's and, a double. Huh? That's right, it is a double. That's right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Welcome to the host of this show. His name is Rick. Sorry. Okay, Rick, you need to roll again, so I won't give you that one. I'll just take it back, all right? Okay. So pick up the dice and roll them again. Remember, okay. the bad rolls are four and five. Okay. And what does he roll? A six. A six. A I'll six. take the six off. Yeah. All right, the six comes off. So anything you can win now, any prize is available with one roll of the dice, perhaps, uh, on this question, maybe. The more one holds a baby, the less time it'll spend doing this. Sleeping, burping, or crying. How about it, Tracy? Crying. Crying is the correct answer. You got it. No babies, but she's been around babies before. All righty, now your bad rolls would be four, five, or six. You want to pass them or play them? Gosh, I really want to roll them, but I think I'm going to pass them. All righty. Thank you. In other words, Thank Rick, you. she is saying you're going to roll a four, five, or six. What do you think? I think I'll see what happens. I right, still have an insurance card. <laughs> <laughs> but I have confidence. Oh, I, I have a confidence. Right, let's seven. see what happens. Here we go. Let's get a seven. Come on, lucky seven. And what does he come up with? He comes up with a double, oh. and it's 12. And that is a good number. I think I'll take the nine and the three, Wink. All right, the nine and the three come off. And by the way, you did get uh, this particular little insurance marker there, and that Wink. gives you the patio furniture. You're credited with that, worth $800. And uh, to keep it, though, you must uh, win the game. You know that. Here's your next question, players. Listen carefully. Does actor Emilio Estevez call one of his brothers Charlie, Marty, or Scott? How about it, Trace? Uh, Charlie. Trace. Charlie is right, yes. He also has a brother named Raymond. All right, pick up the dice, hold them for a second. I got a feeling I know what you're going to do with it. <laughs> Just a second. The only two good rolls are the seven and the eight. What do you want to do? Right. I'm going to pass them. Okay, Tracy needs surprise. this game to even things up at a game of peace. Okay. Rick, the only two good rolls are the seven and the eight, but you have two insurance markers. Okay. It's a big three. Let's try for that eight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try for the eight. And he rolls an eight. Roll, eight. He gets it. It's one of the good rolls. And you get another insurance marker over here. So oh, the eight God. comes off, and we credit the bedroom set worth $2,758 to you, Rick. Thank you. And you're doing all right. That leaves <laughs> only the seven on the board. Game still available for winning, though. In the state of New Hampshire, a female can be married with parental consent at age 13. True or false? Rick. False. No, that's true. That's true. Oh. All right, Tracy, you have real life in this game. He was wrong, so what do you do now? The only... Now remember this. You have a good roll of a seven. That's the only good roll left, but he has three insurance markets. What do you want to do? Well, that's a tough decision, but I think I'm going to pass. All right. Oh. Rick, you got to roll a seven, otherwise okay. you have to start using insurance markers. Okay. Let's, let's find that seven. Okay, come only on, one. seven! what happens. Seven. It's a seven. It's a seven. And he wins. You got it. <laughs> Good job. Congratulations to you, Rick. Sorry about that, Tracy. Oh, it's a good way to go. Wow. So the match is yours, and you're going to be going for $10,000 in just oh. a moment. And you had three insurance markers that uh, you won't even get to use because we take all those back now. You didn't have to use them. Yeah, go ahead. Give them oh, to me. And to you, Tracy, what can I say except thank you for giving us a very, very exciting series of matches on this show. You leave us with a grand total of $17,913. Isn't she a lovely lady? Congratulations once again. God bless. And good luck to you in your law career. We wish you nothing but the best. Okay, Rick, you have won the match, and you also picked up the patio furniture, the bedroom furniture, the tea service, and those $1,000 in coins. You have won thus far already $5,068 in prizes, and the big numbers are next.
But first, look at what you'll get if you can win five matches in a row. Dean? The Jeep Cherokee Jeep is everyone's favorite 4x4. This Ford utility vehicle is designed to offer the comfort and convenience of a wagon. Plus fun both off the road and on the highway. Furnished by Jeep. Retail value $14,500. Okay, Rick, the spotlight is now yours alone as you face the big numbers for a chance at $10,000 in cash. Here comes the lady with the golden dice. Say hello, KC. Let him feel of them, KC. Oh, and while you. he's feeling of them and thinking about what he'll spend $10,000 on, we're going to take a commercial break, and then we'll come back to see if we can put all nine numbers out of here. Well, we got a new champion on our show. Of course, Rick has, uh, has done it. And Rick, now you're going to try to put out the big numbers with these dice. All you do is put them out. I'll give you $100 for each one you knock off. But if you can put out all nine numbers, it'll be worth $10,000 in cash to you. Yeah. Hold those dice. Okay. Now, to help you, Rick, we have... Uh, <laughs> remember these? You had three of them you didn't have to use in the last game. These are insurance markers. If you throw a double, of course, can get you out of trouble in a hurry. Audience, let's root him on to victory. Last time we had a champion up here, she was able to pull it off. Okay. Nine numbers for ten thousand dollars, Rick. Go. Okay, let's get a high double. High double. He got the high double. Does he get it? Ten. Ten. I'll take the nine and one. All right. Off for the nine. Off for the one. Give you two hundred dollars, just like that. Okay. Keep them going. Roll okay. them for ten thousand dollars. High double. So far. Another ten. And another ten. I'll take How do you want to do two. it? Eight and the two. You now have four hundred dollars in your quest for ten thousand dollars. Okay. How about a double so you get an insurance marker? Okay, let's get a double. Let's get a double. Got a three and a six. Nine. Nine. I'll take the four and a five. Four and the five come off, leaving the three, the six, and the seven. You're whittling them down. Okay. Three, let's, six, and seven. Let's get a ten. Let's get a ten. And it's a six and a two. Eight. Oh. You can't do it. And you have no insurance markers, so that was a quick roll. However, you did pick up uh, $600 to go with your other winnings. Added to your prior winnings, that brings your total to $5,668, Rick. That thing's a slap in the face, doesn't it? <laughs> you're still the champ, and you're going to meet a brand new challenger when we come back right after this commercial timeout. Don't go away. High Rollers and Wink Martindale. Welcome back to High Rollers, everybody. Our new champion smiling like a kid with a brand new toy. He's got reason to. Over $5,000 he's won so far as our champ. Now let's meet a new challenger for Rick. Her name is Claudia Mulvaney, originally from Long Island, New York. Hello, Hi, Claudia. How do you do? Welcome to you, darling. Thanks. Nice to meet you. They tell me you're a, you don't look like a clown, but they tell me you are a clown. Does that mean you're a funny person all the time? How, no, that? I love small children, and I dress up as a clown occasionally for two and three and four-year-old birthday parties. That sounds like fun. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. you didn't come dressed as a clown today. We're glad no, of that. thank you. Because you are here to roll dice and win money, right? And you wanted to be on high rollers, and here you are, and we wish you the best of luck. Thank He's you. He's tough, i got to tell you. you. <laughs> Let's luck. take a look Good at the prizes in column one as we get game one underway in this match. What do we have, Dean Goss? It's the Island Hoppers Holiday Package, where one roll of the die could send you to any one of these six islands. Bermuda, Catalina, St. Martin, New Zealand, Alcatraz, or Tahiti. Making the potential value of this column $3,796. How about the prizes in the middle column, Dean? We tee off this column with Pin Seeker, a set of custom-made golf clubs including stainless steel woods with matching radius sole irons and a deluxe staff bag furnished by Pin Seeker. Next, it's the handcrafted nine-foot-long Eagle Shuffleboard. The playing surface is hard maple with all the markings burned in. French polish to a mere finish, furnished by American Shuffleboard, and we finish this column with John and Hansen's assortment of games, including Time the Game, Baker Street, and their exciting game of charades, a hilarious family game furnished by John and Hansen Company. This package is valued at $1,884. And finally, finishing up with column three. Start your own rock and roll group in your family. You're going to need this. Schaefer & Sons Portable Keyboard features the latest and advanced electronic technology. Create your own music with a variety of instrumental sounds, rhythms, and effects, complete with music rack. Then, for the rhythm section, Schaefer & Sons five-piece drum set, complete with double-strap hardware and foot pedal. Choose from a variety of colors. And for the melody, this beautiful Schaefer & Sons organ, with easy play feature and automatic rhythm, designed so you can play an entire chord with only one finger. Furnished by Schaefer & Sons, it gives this column a total value of $4,927, and the entire board a value of $10,607.
Now let's take a look at the numbers you got to deal with. Let's line them up. Three columns of numbers, and the hot column in this game is column one, meaning a roll of an eight would knock off all three numbers and give you a chance to play the Island Hoppers game. And oh, I've had a preview of that. It would be fun. Trust me when I say you would like it. Here's your first question, players. Good luck to you both. Opera, ballet, or brassiere? Where would you find falsettos? All right, Claudia. Opera. Opera, of course. Opera, the answer. You get the first roll. You couldn't wait, could you? <laughs> Here we go. Let's do it. And she has rolled a six and a one. Okay, seven. Okay, a seven. Go? I'll take the six and the one. Off with the six. Off right. with the one. On with the next question. When I mention the author, Carlo Collodi, what children's story should you think of? Pinocchio, Rumpelstiltskin, or Rip Van Winkle? Claudia. Rumpelstiltskin. I'm surprised at you. It's Pinocchio. Oh! Work with children all the time. Pinocchio. Rick, pick up the dice and roll them, please. Uh, okay. All the numbers are good. Okay, let's go to Tahiti. I want a seven. Who wants to go to Tahiti? Hey, you got a oh, eight. Eight. eight, six, and two. How do you uh, do it? I'll take the five and the three, Wink. Five and three. Five in column one, three in column two, leaving only the two and one and seven and two. Now listen very well. I tell you what, I'm going to hold off on this question because I need to pay a few bills and then we will continue. We'll be right back. High rollers with Wink. Oh, I was just looking at those prizes up there, those numbers, two and one, seven in column two, nine, four, eight, all of them. And what great, great prizes. Let's get back to the game, all right? We're in the middle of game one, and here is your next question, players. Two, three, or four. How many women publicly claim they've had illegitimate children by Elvis Presley? <laughs> Claudia. Two. Yes, two is right. You control the dice. Claudia. A roll of a two would give you the chance to play our Island Hoppers game, or you can combine a seven and a two. A nine would do a it. You'd knock off nice both of those seven. columns. Nine, we do a nice seven. Okay, but the bad rolls are three and five. Okay. And you don't have an insurance marker. I don't yet. You're going to roll anyway, huh? I'm going to roll anyway. All right. And what do we find? It's a seven. It's a seven. Yeah. So you can clear column two. And Guess we will. What? Seven. <laughs> okay. That collection of games worth over $1,800 is credited to you, yours to keep if you win the game. Next question. In history, who's responsible for that phrase, all men are created equal? Rick. Thomas Jefferson? Yes, Thomas oh, Jefferson. Right. He didn't even need a multiple choice. Rick, pick him up and hold him. As I tell you, three bad rolls are three, five, and seven. You also do not have a, an insurance marker, so you don't want to roll a three, five, or seven. If you feel like she's going to roll it, give him the hand. Come on, let's go to Tahiti. Whoa. He's going to try it. All righty. And what does he roll? He rolls a seven. A seven. And the game goes to Claudia. Oh, well, Rick, you took a shot and it didn't pay off. However, that's only the first game of the match. Claudia, congratulations to you. Thank you. You get to keep the collection of games. You're now up to $1,884, thanks for those. And by the way, in that game, the fun game, the Island Hoppers game, we didn't get to play that, but it will be back, I assure you. Now then, Claudia, you have game one. Let's get on to game two and show you some prizes, shall we? Are you interested? Very. Let's take a look at the prizes in column one. It's a beautiful lingerie chest, 52 inches high, with a lacquer finish, hand-painted soapstone figurines, and a floral design, furnished by Paul Sy Furniture Manufacturing Company, and you can use it to store this beautiful 6 by 9 foot handcrafted Battenberg-style lace tablecloth with matching napkins, furnished by Peking Handicrafts, and it makes the value of the board $1,330. Okay, let's take a look at the middle column. It's an elegant 14 karat gold channel set diamond ring of contemporary design with 1.1 carats of glittering baguette diamonds. Furnished by Marcus David Jewelers and valued at $3,400. Finally, in column three. Here's a versatile piece of furniture. Corsican Furniture Company presents this faithful reproduction of an authentic French baker's rack and hand-forged wrought iron with sparkling brass trim furnished by Corsican Furniture. And these will look good displayed on it. Flambro Imports presents America's favorite clown, Emmett Kelly Jr. Handcrafted limited edition porcelain figurines, signed and numbered, furnished by Flambro Imports. This column has a value of $1,371, and the entire board is valued at $6,101. Did he say clowns? Figurines of clowns. Here's the way the numbers line up to game two. Here they come. There are the numbers in proper order, and the hot column is column number two. The middle column, roll an 11, you knock them all off and get that prize, the diamond ring, worth 
over $3,000. And wouldn't you know it? We're out of time. You're going to have to sleep on this. We're out of time. Can you Let me ask this question. Will you return on the next show? Absolutely. Sure. I'm Wink Martindale. For everybody here on High Rollers, we are delighted you are playing the game with us each day. Thank you so much. We're glad to be back. We're happy to have you. Wink Martindale, see you next time. Bye-bye. Some of our party contestants will receive Redkin Classics, Hair Care Pants, This has been a Merrill Heater production in association with Century Towers Productions.